together again. It feels good, doesn't it? Congratulations to the leadership of Keep Oklahoma Beautiful for again carefully assembling and celebrating all of the volunteers, organizations, and community groups that are making a positive impact on our surroundings, where they live, work, and grow. Each year, these awards teach us about the great work that is ongoing every day. The Keep Oklahoma Beautiful Board Visionary Leadership Award is presented to an organization with a unique take on improving the environment in their community, which has inspired others to do the same. This year's award goes to a collaborative project that does just that, improves the environment and inspires others. OKC Riversport and Oklahoma City Beautiful have collaborated on an initiative focused on solving the problem of litter and debris along the Oklahoma River. The River Protectors Initiative focuses on two goals, removing the trash that comes downstream and educating others on the elimination of trash at its source. Removing and addressing the source of the trash is the long-term solution. Congratulations, River Sport and OKC Beautiful. Let's listen to their story. So the River Protectors Program was, is a basic initiative bringing awareness to how we are polluting our waterways in Oklahoma County. It's single-use items that are styrofoam and plastic that are the bulk of everything that's going into our waterways. OKC Beautiful is a environmental education and beautification nonprofit. During the height of the pandemic, uh, we got a contact from Brent Allen at River Sports. He wanted some help cleaning up the river and he knew we had volunteers. So we worked together with River Sport. The River Protectors was born. We have a group of over 200 volunteers that have participated in this program. Uh, it's a two-part program. One is collecting the trash that currently exists in our waterways. The second part is collecting data on that trash. What types of materials are we pulling out? What brands are we pulling out of the river? And then using that information to advocate, to educate, and create a more cultural shift as well. well it really starts with education and we felt like it was important to figure out a way to collaborate on that and getting people hands-on involved to see what I've been seeing and others have been seeing and understand that we can do something about this. It's not going to happen overnight, but we can do something about it. We use an app called Literati. Uh, with this app, we're able to create a geo point for every piece of trash that's been picked up. And using this app, we take photos of the trash of where it's at it creates a GPS locator, you upload the data to the data field, and you tag it. You tag what's in the photo. Is it plastic? They're able to tag the type of object. Is it a bottle? Is it a can? Uh, and they're also able to tag a brand as well. It has grown exponentially this year. People are doing this on their own throughout the entire county. We have probably picked up and ID'd and put in the database 100,000 pieces of single-use plastic and styrofoam. So we're pointing out the obvious with hard facts. We're a river city now. We have this world-class venue, this incredible gem that we have. Now we gotta take care of it. I'm so grateful to work with incredible volunteers. This program would not be possible without the people who are coming out here, picking up trash, investing in the community. And as our city grows, when you have more people, you have more trash. And so we have to get ahead of this. We started by cleaning up trash, but we're really starting to consult internal businesses in the communities of how to thrive and move forward to the next level of creating a sustainable city. It's simple things that we can all do that over time, we're gonna create a generational cultural shift. This was a perfect collaboration. When nonprofits work together, they bring their strengths, their resources, and we can get more done. This collective effort, um, we're gonna make a collective impact. 